So in today's web dev tip, we're going to look at the content editable attribute and how you can use it to make any element on your page that's got some text inside it to be editable by the user. So let's uh, take an example. Uh, say we had an element on the page that's got some uh, text inside it. Uh, obviously the user can select that text, but they can't actually edit it uh, by default. Um, but we can go back here to the opening tag and add an attribute to this div. And we can say content editable. And the full proper way you should do this is to say content editable equals true, uh, but you could just get away with uh, adding this attribute uh, on, on its own, but this, this is the technically the correct way to do it. So now if we go back to our div on the page, uh, you can see we've got a carrot and you can see Grammarly's popped up in here because it's recognizing it as editable text. And obviously we can go and just edit that text in the same way we would be able to do with a text area. So you might be thinking, well, why don't we just use a text area? And you might be right there. There's, there's no advantage really to doing this and it does make things a little bit trickier. I guess uh, one aspect is that you've got more control over the styling of the element. Uh, with a text area, you've got some built-in things uh, that the browser will provide to you that this will override. But let's take a look at another example of how, how this might provide some uh, value to you rather than just using a text area itself. So let's imagine we had a table and in there we've just got one row, uh, but we've got uh, two columns in there. Again, let's put some filler text into each of those. Another column here. So if we have a look at that now, we've got uh, a table here with two rows. Uh, and obviously, same sort of thing, you can't actually uh, edit the text in there by default, but we could just go in here and do what we did before uh, and add in the content editable attribute and set that to true. And so now what we've got is a table with two columns and each of those is actually editable. And you can see now that it's slightly different from just using a text area. We're actually using the semantics of a HTML table, uh, but with editable content. So that's just one use for the content editable attributes. If you do need to get the value that the user's typed in, then you can just use the inner text uh, property of the element that's editable or the text content property as well. And that'll get you that value that you can use in your JavaScript code. So that's it for the content editable attributes. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.